My name's Nick Cannon. I'm the current chair of Leicestershire Search and Rescue. I've been with the team for six years now uh, and I manage the day-to-day -day operations of everything we do for Leicestershire Police. Um, the size of the team, we have 52 members. Um, we've been in operation now for just over 10 years, so November last year was our 10th anniversary. Um, we were delighted last year to be awarded the Queen's Voluntary Services Award which is the highest accolade for a voluntary organisation. We cover the areas of Leicester, Leicestershire and Rutland and everything we do is managed and run by Leicestershire Police. Within the overall uh, organisation we have a number of different um, specialisms. When we first started 10 years ago we had nothing but search technicians, people on the ground um, and over the years we've now developed that so um, around about five years ago we brought in a canine team which as you can imagine really developed our effectiveness in searching for missing people uh, and then over the last couple of years we've really been looking at bringing in drone technology because we were understanding the capabilities of drones and the efficiency in searching larger areas both in day and at night with um, thermal imaging technology and we understood that that may enable us to find missing persons far far sooner uh, using far less resources than uh, we, we have done traditionally. When we were looking at drone technology we were concerned about the thoughts of our members on the ground, the, uh, the search technicians that we have, because some of those were concerned about drone technology replacing team members. And that absolutely wasn't something we were looking to do. We were looking to enhance the capability of our ground search staff. Uh, and that has absolutely assisted. So during uh, nighttime operations, it enables us to search bigger areas, but also um, to look at areas where we put um, search staff into. So um, we use it also from a safety perspective. So um, we have a water search capability. It enables us to go up and have a look at what's upstream, what's downstream, and some of the dangers that the teams might come across. So it enables us to manage multiple factors within the search. So not only efficiency in looking for a missing person, but also for the safety of the team. Some of the, uh, some of the successes we've had with the drone are more around the management of search personnel. So we've had the ability to search areas. So where we've been called out by Leicestershire Police, uh, and we don't necessarily have the manpower within the team to come and search. We can provide a drone service and we've deployed the drones to search bigger areas. And it just gives us a comfort factor knowing that we're actually doing something looking for a missing person rather than doing nothing. Around about four years ago, we started a new project within the team um, looking for a new command vehicle. So our, our older vehicle was becoming a little bit unreliable, a little bit dilapidated. Um, so we approached the officer of the Police and Crime, uh, the Police and Crime Commissioner's office um, and we were delighted to be awarded a grant of £50,000 to pay for our new command vehicle. So we project managed this um, with drones in mind so we have multiple screens inside where we can live stream drone footage into uh, and that gives us from a management perspective an overall uh, view of what's going on at any time within the search and as I say we can link in with the drones to get some live footage. So one of the things the biggest considerations when uh, looking at drone technology is obviously the governance around flying um, as you can understand, it's quite heavy at times. So we work very, very closely with copters. They gave us absolute expertise guidance on what we should be looking for uh, by way of assets, what we should be looking to buy, but more importantly, around the training of what our staff should do. So we currently have seven members in the team that are fully qualified drone pilots. We, um, we did all of our qualifications through copters. It was an absolute fantastic service. Um, we're a little bit uh, nervous about uh, what to expect because most of the team that are inside the drone uh, uh, drone team with Lexar didn't have any exposure to flying drones previously. Cops has made that really easy easy for us to uh, to adopt. Um, the biggest uh, decision really was around looking at the assets uh, that we buy, um, and of course it's considerable funding when you're looking at things like thermal imaging technology to enable you to fly at night time. Uh, the significant costs around um, acquiring that type of equipment. So we undertook a, um, uh, a program of fundraising. And again, we were very fortunate to secure some of it by way of grant and some of it uh, through our fundraising team within, within uh, Search and Rescue.